Type 1, and welcome back to Sonic Spinball on the Sega Mega Drive. I am one well sheep yet again, and today we are taking on the final stage of... Oh my, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh my, oh my. Okay, let's try that again. We are now taking on... Where'd Sonic go? Where's the flippers? What's going on? What? What? What's happening? Okay, let's try again. For fuck's sake. Great. Let's try this now with an emulator. Will that be so much harder? Probably will. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I had to actually switch to an emulator for the final stage of the game. Primarily because I can't beat the stage. I, I spent... I was on... If you were following me on Twitter at the time I was recording this raw footage, basically, I was here for about three or four days worth of recording this, you know, and eventually I just gave up and said, screw, I'm doing an emulator, I can't do it. So, I am using save states for this one, ladies and gentlemen. It won not, so I apologize if that will bug you. It will not be too noticeable when I use the save state, so I did my best to, un, you know, to edit them out. So, don't worry too much about that, ladies and gents. But yeah, this is the final stage of the game, and it is the most hardest stage in the game, rightfully so. However, this goes be above and beyond hardest. This, the difficulty spike between the machine and this zone is ridiculous. It is unbelievable. If you make a single mistake in this stage, you will die, and when you die, <laughs> you're gonna cry because a lot of the things you have to do in the stage, like pushing certain buttons in order to activate certain chaos emeralds to pop up, etc., etc., all your work doing that will become completely null and void, and you have to redo all of that again. This is a very tedious level, this is a very frustrating level, and it is a giant pain in my ass. <laughs> to put things really bluntly. However, you will, if you know what you're doing, you will get the Chaos Emblems relatively quick. But because this is such a random game in terms of the fact, well, it's a pinball game, of course it's random. When you, if you don't know exactly what to do, trust me, this, this stage will take a good hour or so to complete with save states if you don't know what you're doing, you know? Fortunately, I know what I'm doing, and I still have the result save states, so, yay! But basically, what we need to do by here is actually break all of those barriers that are blocking the Chaos Emerald. I recommend trying to get this Chaos Emerald first, because this is the hardest Chaos Emerald in the entire game to pick up, for the one reason, Aiming this thing is a goddamn nightmare. <laughs> An absolute goddamn nightmare. After a while, you pre you'll it should be fine, but it is frustrating as all hell. So, yeah, I had to use the save states a lot in this stage. Every time I get a chaos emerald, so I'm using save states, and every time I push these buttons, I'm doing one. Other than that, I will not be trying to abuse them too much. I'm just going to use the sa treat the save states like. You know, like they're, they're my own personal checkpoint system. Like, at certain areas, I make a checkpoint and Bob's your uncle. But yeah, when I say the difficulty spike is unreal, you, you don't... By watching the footage of this level, you do not understand the difficulty, right? You could watch a Let's Play of this game and see someone get through it just fine, and you'd be like, oh, cool, I could do that. <laughs> oh, I'd like to see you try. Oh, this level is hard. I'm turning into Mickey Mouse here. Ha oh, ha. That's how difficult this level is. Ha oh, ha. Sure thing, Goofy. Ha oh, ha. I don't know why I turned Mickey Mouse for a minute there, but seriously, it's ridiculous how hard it is. But the general rule of thumb is there's one major Chaos Emerald in the center of the arena you need to get first, and is a Chaos Emerald to the left of the stage and to the right of the stage that you also need to get hold of. And between the left-hand side of the stage and the the middle of the stage is also a Chaos Emerald that you need to get by going to the left hand side, if that makes any sense. Basically follow the same routes or similar as well, as similar as you can route that I'm taking and you should be able to get the Chaos Emeralds just fine. See and this isn't even with fighting the boss fight, because the boss fight is probably the most tedious and frustrating part of the entire thing. But uh, I'm going to talk more about the boss and why he's frustrating and tedious when I get to him. But now, now we just need to push more buttons. Now this Chaos Emerald, well, not so much Chaos Emerald, but there's, a, there's an area by here that you can go up by 
pushing this button, just like we got the first Chaos Emeralds, and the button's to the... Basically the far right of the screen, right above the exit of this pinball table, so it's... You know, it's very frustrating, because you need to just get yourself pinpoint perfect in order to get hold of that, you know? <laughs> it's just so annoying! But if you're able to get your ball in there, which you should be able to after a good few attempts, you know, it's easy days. And one thing I do like about this level though is there's a lot of puns. Like if uh, the if an eruption time is done, you'll be able to occasionally survive yourself from falling by landing on an exploding rock. And whenever you do, you just get this awesome rocket pump prompt, which is pretty cool. But anyway, going up this little hallway will give us a Chaos Emerald, and with that we can now go on up and fight Dr. Eggman himself, the big bad bad man. You know, after saying that actually, I just got a picture of Eggman trying to lure the kids into his into his Eggmobile <laughs> with like candy. Come this way kids, I've got candy. No way! I can't believe this! That's when they turn him down and they're like, No, I don't trust you! you, you your mustache looks huge and you got a big nose and you smell weird, you smell like eggs! And then Eggman's all like, No! That's just my aftershave, you idiot! <laughs> what am I saying? But anyway, no, we do need to go up to Eggman himself. And when I say Eggman in this game, it's absolutely monstrous. Oh, he is monstrous. Like I said, every boss in this game is nightmare fuel, and Dr. Eggman himself is no exception to this rule. Dr. Eggman is just like, what did they do to you, man? What did they do? You you, you have a condition. <laughs> You're like the Hulk, you got a condition, man. How about I digress? Anyway, heading into a spaceship, and even though we're meant to be chasing after Eggman, technically in this mission, this the spaceship is always here. You know, you this this will never escape you. You don't have a limited time to beat Eggman. You you have basically unlimited time. And what can I say about this boss fight? Well, first things first, we need to push the button underneath his cockpit for that. And doing so, we'll cycle between his pattern. Now, usually Dr. Eggman will have a couple of things to protect him. The first thing he'll have is the claw. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, a bit of Toy Story going on. And another thing he'll have are these socks, and these socks will pop on up. If you go into them, you will be flipped outside the window, and you'll have a couple of attempts. So you need to push the switch, and hope to God it cycles between the, you know, hope to God the switch cycles Eggman's pattern to the point where you can just simply manipulate, manipulate Sonic himself to just simply spin around and boop his cockpit in the head. And seriously, look at him, he looks terrifying. He's got those beady white pupils, those black eyes. It's, oh my, my god, my god. So, Eggman. Uh, uh, been asleep much? Cause that's why it, ma it makes me think he hasn't slept at all. He's like, he's worrying, like, no way. He's, all, he's at my ship. I can't believe this. Gamma. <laughs> Find me a frog. But, sir. Uh, what does a frog have to do with this? Just listen to me, you idiot! But yeah, seriously, this is all there is to the boss fight. You just have to try and boop him in the head while cycling between his animations. The problem is, three strikes with the socks and you are out. An air surfing, dude! <laughs> I love the dialogue in this game. It's totally radical. I love it. It's... Oh, man. Oh, man. I, I, again, I can't really say much because it, 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 a lot of things I say in real life, I tend to I tend to go into 90s slang in real life because that was the age I was really grown up with. So I tend to, I tend to say stuff like radical and bodacious a lot, even though known person from the 90s I know I've actually said bodacious. But screw it, I'm I'm one of them. <laughs> no, I do I do like to say 90s slang words. So I don't know, I, I, they have the unique charm. You know, I like them. It's a bit of a tubular time, what can I say? It makes sense as well because uh, Sonic Spinball is with the, it has a lot of tubes, hence the term tubular. <laughs> but yeah, seriously, this boss fight does go on for quite a long time, and I don't actually know when the best time to hit him is. Because as far as I can tell, there's no pattern with the switch, you know? There's no real pattern to go and hit the switch a certain number of times and then 
you can boof Eggman. There's no, I can't figure out a pattern. If there is a pattern, please tell me in the comments, people. I would really love to know, but... Eh, unfortunately, we have to do this a long and hard way because I have no idea what I'm doing. And bear in mind, this is with save states, you know, ladies and gentlemen. This is me playing this safe with save states, and I'm still struggling to just to, just to hit the sword. It's it's just frustrating. I didn't want to go back up there. Oh no! So this is around the point where I get really panicky with now because one one bit of advice I can actually give you actually is to try and catch yourself with the flippers. If you hold down the flipper button, you can keep the flippers held up. And if you keep the flippers held up, then, well, you can protect yourself from falling down into the pits below. Which is no good. You don't want to fall into the pits below. Because if you fall down this boss fight, do you do you die? No! Worse! You reach the entire bottom of the zone again, and you have to reclimb all the way back up to the very top of the zone. Legit, you have to redo the entire stage if you fall out of the ship, and... It's just so tedious, it's so frustrating, I don't like to do that, but... Oh my god, I got lucky then. You have to be really lucky to hit Eggman more than once, let alone three times in a row. Jesus Christ. Smell my shocks. <laughs> I don't know why he shouts that occasionally, it's just occasionally. Smell my socks. <laughs> I don't know why, I really don't know why. Although, I have to give the music credit about this, this is, you know, oh, the claw. The music's very, shall we say, climactic? I think it's the same boss fight we've had for the majority of the game, I, I think. I, can't, I, I don't actually listen to the boss themes all that much, I'm usually bothered more about the level themes, but... I don't know, it, it, it fits for this boss fight. No, this is a, this is, this music's unique to this boss. What am I talking about? Of course, it is. it's the final boss. It, I just clicked now that I'm actually listening to the music while trying to commentate. So, Meow. sound effects. Meow. <laughs> I don't know why. I love the way the sound effects are in this game. They're very video gamey. But with that, now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to lay the beat down. It's time to take the last couple of hits on Dr. Eggface himself. Come on, Baldy McNose, eh? It's time for you to go down. Boom! Two more to go. All right. Air surfing, dude. Now, if you wonder why I called him Baldy McNose, eh? You'll find out later on, because there's actually a thing that starts becoming a running joke in a couple of the games later down the line of the series. But with that... Dr. Eggman is blowing up. Oh god, his body's falling apart. What the hell? Goodbye, Robotnik. And don't come back. Well, okay, what happened there? Okay, Eggman exploded into millions and millions of pieces. Uh, we destroyed basically his entire ship and his plans. So all in all, it's been a good day. What can I say? Ball bonus! Although for beating the final boss we don't get a bonus game which is kind of depressing but uh, there we go. With that, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for Sonic the Hedgehog Spinball on the Sega Mega Drive. I am one more sheep, and this is this is a game that I don't like going to that much. It's a pretty fun adventure pinball game, and for the first two levels, it's really enjoyable. But for level three, it takes too long to get through the entire bloody thing, and level four is just cheap beyond all all hell. It's damn near impossible to get through level four at this stage, you know, this game. So, music, I love the music for the most part, soundtrack is phenomenal with the exception of the options and end credits theme. Yeah, they, they share the same song, This it sounds awful, I do not like the options menu music. But the level themes, all in all, really good, some of them could use a bit better instrumentation, but I think I'm, go I'm just going to blame the Mega Drive hardware for the way they sound right now, because I don't know what they sound like with better instrumentation, I haven't looked at remixes on YouTube. 
So there's that. Uh, the pinball mechanics, uh, they're a bit off, but that's because you can actually manipulate Sonic's momentum yourself manually. So there's a reason why they're a bit off and I don't really mind it. Once you learn how to control his momentum, learn to control Sonic himself, you can actually become pretty damn precise with the pinball mechanics. The problem is I haven't got the time to learn it. So I'll leave that to the spinball wizards out there who want to Pretty there with their YouTube fame of how good they are at Sonic Spinball. I couldn't care less. So, uh, yeah, there's that, ladies and gentlemen. There is that. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish, people. And when we return next time in the Sonic franchise, we'll be returning with Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble on the Sega Game Gear, which is going to be a pretty fun one, and I'm probably going to be doing a lot of bitching. Of course, I thought that about this LP as well. I thought I'd be bitching a hell of a lot in this one, but uh, I went through it pretty damn fine, to be honest. Surprisingly. So, yeah, when we reach when we reach Triple Trouble, it's going to be a fun time. So, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't be sheepish, people. I'll catch you all then. Bye!